As stated previously, GNS has mostly been abandoned for the big model. Let's take a look at what the big model is. <laughs> While related to GNS and also developed primarily by Ron Edwards, the big model contains input from other game designers and attempts to encompass the previous work. So what is a big model? That I can show you. And in this case, let's work from the outside in. The social contract is a concept that we're probably all familiar with. This covers both the spoken and unspoken interactions of the players and includes, but is not limited to, the emotional connections, expectations, and who brings a beer. Within the social contract lies exploration. And that is to say that all exploration happens within the context of the social contract, and I can't imagine it not working that way. This represents the imagination of the fictional events, and was something that I brought up in the simulationist video. So it includes character, setting, situation, system, and color, and it's sometimes referred to as the shared imagined space. Moving in a little further, we have techniques. This is how elements are introduced by the fiction. There can be many techniques, and a technique is really just a group of ephemera, which I will explain in a minute, taken together. So a system is the collection of techniques that you are using within your game. Ephemera lies within techniques. This is the actions or statements during the play of the game. This is literally what we do or say while we play role-playing games. The creative agenda moves through these layers, although it misses ephemera. Put simply, this is what we want out of play. Most of GNS fits into this, and this is why two games might have the same elements, but is that creative agenda that makes the play experience very different. For example, a game where the players are nobles might be about intrigue, romance, or even humor. So you may be wondering the obvious question, why doesn't the creative agenda move through ephemera? Well, that is because as players, we are less interested with the actual act of rolling a dice or saying a thing than the meaning behind it. And that is what the technique is concerned with, but not the ephemera itself. Like anything, there have been some criticisms of the big model. It is accused of devaluing many traditional styles of play. It is also sometimes said to be too all-encompassing, as though it's trying to explain all per points of gaming, when it is also said to fail uh, at referring particularly to subjective games. It does not address the current academic studies as well, as the big model is starting to get old, and there are those who have said to have played successfully in ways that do not fit within this model. The big model is by no means perfect. Currently no model for understanding role-playing games is. Just as with GNS, Jeep Forum, and every other idea, it's a step along the way. There is a lot more research being done, and game theory is being taken more seriously as an academic study. These games are still fairly new, and we're evolving our understanding of them. But progress is being made. Relevant links are below, and as always, I hope that your next game is even better than your last.